My name is Jeb McKeon and today we're going to talk about how little you have to make to get an appointed or free attorney. Alright, so let's unpack this. First off, almost always you are only entitled to an appointed attorney on criminal cases. The only real exception to this is if the state is trying to take your kids away from you through Department of Children's Services. But generally, we're talking about you are facing jail time with a criminal offense, all right? And so you can't afford an attorney. Can, you can always apply for an appointed or free attorney. That means the state will pay for an attorney for you for free. So what's the guideline there? You will have to fill out an affidavit or application for a free attorney. And the guidelines are generally track the federal poverty guideline, which is just around 13000 a year. All right. And there are some other things that go into it. For example, if you're not working, but you have lots of assets, you're retired and you have boats and houses and things like that, you have to list those on the application. You may not qualify. But typically, we're talking about income somewhere around $13,000 or lower. You would qualify for a free or appointed attorney. And that's a big deal because the vast majority of people, for better or for worse, charged with crimes in our country and our state qualify for appointed attorneys. So if you go down to court on any criminal court day, 80%, if not more, of the defendants that day are represented by a public defender or someone who is appointed to represent them because the person makes so little or they're in jail, so they make nothing. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can also view my other YouTube videos.